Hi guys, so I have bought the rabbits a lot of natural toys lately. Uh, I plan on redoing the shed a little bit. Um, nothing too major, it's not going to be painted or anything like that, um, but I want to give them a new rug, some new furniture and new toys. And I thought I would show you guys in this haul what toys I bought them. So I bought them just naturalistic toys this time and I bought the toys from Haybox, Bunnies at Lunch and some that I've made and I think one of them is from Pets at Home. So let's get into the video and I'll show you guys what I got. So starting off with just Pets at Home because I only got one thing from there. I got this garland and um, it's just got some pine cones on here and there's some acorns cut out and I thought this would be good because I thought I could hang it up on their grid so on the side of the wall so I thought they could chew on that and it's all made from natural materials so yeah I thought that would look nice so the next things I've got are from my shop um, the first thing is just this rope toy uh, it's just made from jute string and Alice really likes to throw these about and she does chew through them as well um, so yeah, I just have one of these to put on their rug because she likes to throw things a lot. The next thing I've got is this mini carrot. I do have um, full size carrots on my shop and I decided to make some mini carrots so these will be available on my shop and they will be in a pack of three. So yeah, so I have this mini carrot. It's just made from Timothy Hay and some jute string. So the next lot of things that I bought were from the hay box and the first thing is this trio of balls and um, each ball is made from different materials. I'm pretty sure this is seagrass and then there's willow. Um, so yeah, the, I thought they would enjoy these. They have had these before. The only downside with natural toys like this is that I just see that they tend to get through them far quicker than if it's just solid wood so um yeah hopefully these will last a few weeks and not a day so um they have had like this type of ball before around Christmas and I think it lasted half an hour so we'll have to see how long these last. Next thing I got was this ball this is quite a big ball it's by Nature's First this was on Haybox as well and it's just called the grassy ball I'm pretty sure this is seagrass um, so yeah, and I like it because it's wrapped around a lot of times, um, I was, should take them quite a while to chew through this, and it's a nice size for rabbits, so yeah, I got them one of these. The next ball that I got is also from Nature's First from Haybox, um, I'm pretty sure Nature's First most of this stuff is from, and to be honest I'm quite impressed because I like how natural their toys are. Um, so this one is a willow ball and again it's quite big. It is like see-through, um, it's just one willow stick thick so um, hopefully it will take them a while to chew through this but can't guarantee it, have to see. Um, so yeah, so they've got this willow ball. So my camera battery died so hopefully this angle's okay. Um, so the last thing I got from the hay box was this mat. Um, I did used to buy these all the time for Absalom, my previous rabbit, he absolutely loved these. This is from Rosewood and this is Woven Water Hyacinth Mat. This ball is made out of as it's the same sort of material. Uh, so yeah, and this mat was on the hay box. It's always sold out though, so I was so happy to get it. Obviously it's very popular. Um, it does only last a couple of days with my rabbits. <laughs> they absolutely love chewing it um, and it would be expensive to spend £4 a day um, if I kept buying this. So um, yeah, they get it as a treat. Hopefully um, they won't destroy it entirely in a day. So yeah, got this mat. Binks will definitely fit on this mat <laughs> if he wanted to lay down on it, but he'll probably just destroy it. And the last place that I bought from was Bunnies at Lunch again. I've got really into buying from Bunnies at Lunch. <laughs> So the first thing that bunnies at lunch they have this little postcard definitely going to put this up in the shed i absolutely love these little postcards that they put in the boxes so they got this nature's first natural play ball which is just made from willow and it's a pretty decent size and um 
I'm sure they will absolutely love playing with this, throwing this about. It is woven around a few times, so hopefully when they chew it, it won't be destroyed all in one go. So yeah, got this willow ball. The next thing I got was this trio of natural balls again. This is in a plastic uh, bag though. They've got two, which is fine. I didn't realise when I ordered the box that this would come as well, but that's fine because they will definitely destroy these quickly. So um, it's always good to have backups and everything else. So yeah, so I have two of these. Another thing I got was um, these apple sticks. Uh, unfortunately where I live there's not really that many mature trees and I definitely don't have any mature trees in my garden so I can't pick these so I uh, got some on there and I know in previous garden that lived in before it had some willow sticks and apple sticks as well and Alice and Absalom both absolutely loved them so it'd be interesting to try binks on them so yeah, I got these apple wood sticks. Next thing I got was these Nature's First Willow Sticks. Alice, I know for sure, absolutely loves these. Um, she loves chewing on them. They do last a super long time, I have noticed, because they are so thick. So yeah, um, definitely worth buying these. And the last thing I got was this Willow Spiral. And um, I used to buy one of these all the time for Absalom and he really loved it. I don't think I've bought one since having Binks, so um, we'll just have to see how Alice and Binks get on with this. But again, um, it's quite sturdy and it's made from Willow and they love Willow. So yeah, um, they will definitely enjoy chewing this. So because I like the Willow ball and the Willow stick so much, I decided to buy another lot from uh, Vet UK, which is another good website that I order from so yeah i got two more so they're all the things that i got for the rabbits it was all like natural um themed so uh yeah i'll be really looking forward to putting that in the shed and showing you guys their reactions and everything which will be in the next video so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram at charts creatures and uh check out my etsy shop as well for some natural toys on there and thanks for watching